Okay, so now we're done with our cheat table. Basically here, since we're actually talking about making a cheat table, the idea we're gonna go and wanna go ahead and do some other things. Let's go ahead and relaunch our tutorial. Or close out the game and relaunch it kind of deal and then let's just run through everything and retest it all and make sure it's all working right. Oh, we need to attach to the process. Assembler one. So I think it won't be until we get to here and here, and it's just not allocated yet, or the pointers aren't set up. Um, these two will actually have to freeze at some point, but not too complicated. Um, let's just go ahead next. Hit me. So that one, step two, has worked. And then step three has worked. Step four has worked. Step five has worked. Um, this is where, again, we actually do want to finally freeze that now. Still don't have that one, so change pointer. So step six has worked. Step seven has worked. Now we're on step eight. And again, here we want to go ahead and freeze that to 5,000. And on both of these, we could set up timers. I'll probably do something like that later and explain some of that. I uh, just don't want this series to be all that long. I think it's already pretty long as it is. So step eight has worked. And then restart and play game. And step nine works. So before we close this out, one thing we want to go ahead and do, let's go ahead and, you know, act like once again we're going to share this cheat table with others. So there might be a couple of key things we want to do. Um, again, I suggest going ahead and making sure you save. And I, like I said, I like to save with a backup. And then if we're going to share this, let's go ahead and give ourselves a version folder. Stick that in there and we'll just call this cheat table version. 1.0.0 or 1.0.1 um, whatever naming conventions you want to use it, it really doesn't matter just whatever works for you and makes enough sense for other users um, a lot of people actually put game versions in here um, I always put the cheat table version so now let's go ahead and open our memory view tools data or um, just Dissect data structure. Is that popping up somewhere weird? Okay, I had it minimized what the problem was. Okay, um, so here we'll want to maybe clean up our table a little bit. Because if we actually look, um, if we actually look at that cheat table file we'll see that uh, that data structure is packed in there and it does take up, a, I mean it's not a real big deal especially with just one but if you were really going through this and doing a lot of different um, data structures this could get a lot longer so here's our, our data structure I mean again it's it's not really a huge deal but um, especially with the auto guest one sometimes it can get to be really really big um, but we'll go ahead and clear that out uh, I think it's yeah file delete all structures that'll clear out our, our, our table for our version and then if we go ahead and save again we can see that that's what we've cleaned up so down back down here to our Lua script and right above that so we've cleared that out so we don't have that in there anymore um, Another good option is to go ahead and check your uh, user defined list or user symbol list or user defined symbols. Um, make sure that's clear as you're saving. But other than that, that's pretty much it. This would be a, you know an acceptable cheat table on some levels. Um, again, you may want to structure things differently and do some different things and maybe even color stuff. I mean, that's all up to you, whatever whatever makes sense to you it's your cheat table essentially um, and that's 
that's going to kind of be the end of this tutorial. Um, maybe on the next one, hopefully, we'll be doing this. We'll see how I feel. Um, but thanks for watching, and have a good one.